genetics or genomics team is important because medicine is evolving. But in medicine today, we're developing precision medicine, or some people call it personalized medicine. And what that means is with the advancements of our understanding of genetics and genomics, that we can tailor the therapy to you so that we know that this is the most effective therapy for you, the individual, not just the most effective therapy for a population. What we were missing in Louisiana is we don't have a genetic counseling program in the state of Louisiana. So the partnership with Xavier to start the first genetic counseling program in Louisiana is very exciting and will provide genetic counselors that are representative of the communities we serve in Louisiana and the Gulf South. I really think that this program will be successful at Xavier because of really a, we have a strong core faculty member. Our program director is an excellent program director. Plus, our partnership with Oshner Health is something that's really, really critical. Our students will be doing their internships and all mostly at Oshner Health. And so the relationship that we have with them is something that's really, really important because the, student, the experiences that students are going to have as they're going through the program is something that's going to prepare them to be excellent when they graduate. There's minimal amount of genetic counselors for minority populations to serve as clinical supervisors, program faculty, and leadership. And I think it becomes a circular problem where upcoming students don't see anybody in the program who looks like them or is representative of their culture and then they don't think that the genetic counseling field is a good fit. There are a ton of career opportunities for genetic counseling students at this point. I think the genetic counseling degree has become so uh, adaptable and flexible because we have expertise that is needed in multiple different areas of the healthcare system. There are genetic counselors who work in what we used to call more traditional clinical roles in multiple pediatric and adult specialties, but there's also jobs that were once considered non-traditional that are now pretty common. There's genetic counselors who work in industry for genetic laboratories, for insurance companies who work in research, uh, academia, or even uh, in uh, crafting public policy. So there's a wide range of job opportunities for students who graduate from a genetic counseling program. I really saw this as an amazing opportunity um, to contribute to something meaningful. And being the only accredited genetic counseling program at a historically black college and university is quite meaningful. Most opportunities like this don't come around in a lifetime of a career. So I would come to Xavier and build the program from the ground up. And it was a real chance to make a change in a field that has been historically homogeneous all of my 30 plus year career. I think it's safe to say that lack of diversity in healthcare in general is a significant contributor to um, health disparity and genetic counseling is really no different than that. This program has really been developed to reduce some of the barriers for attaining genetic counseling master's degrees for people that are in underrepresented populations. So we've done a lot to contribute in this fashion, creating a holistic free application process. We have a virtual interview process so that candidates don't have to travel and have that expense. We also have scholarships for those that are in need. But one of the things that I'm really proud of is that we've built the curriculum so students can do all of their required field work rotations right here in New Orleans, and that's the thanks to Oshner um, Health Center. They have um, committed quite a bit, and all of their genetic counselors are on board, so all of the field work rotations that are required will take place at Oshner, negating the need for a student to travel. I believe that marginalized groups are as deserving as anybody to get these opportunities. Um, and I feel like by giving them these opportunities, it gives them the chance to be able to go back to their community and share what they've learned, not just in the sense of being like, hey, I'm a genetic counselor, this is what I do, and hey, you should go see a genetic counselor, but more so being able to tell people what a genetic counselor is so that 
in their own healthcare journey, they know when to ask the questions of, hey, should I see genetics about this? Just getting the community more familiar with what it means to see a genetic counselor, or to see genetics in general. When I signed on for the job here at Oshner, I knew that the program was coming down the pipeline, and by agreeing to be a genetic counselor here, I knew that I would be somebody that would be involved from a clinical standpoint, um, helping uh, to be a supervisor to students, bringing, doing guest lectures, and hopefully one day actually taking on a class of my own. And then just in general, with all the leadership and staff that we've brought on, kind of acclimating them to Oshner and what we have to offer. That has primarily been my role. And once the program does start, I look forward to being a mentor to the students that will come through our doors. This type of program really represents a transformative opportunity for Xavier to become a leader in an emerging field, really by developing professionals from underrepresented populations and communities. The interest has been overwhelming. Um, we have a lot of enthusiasm from not only prospective students, but the faculty both here at Xavier and Oshner. I can say definitely what gets me the most excited is the students, the teaching, and really the potential for this program to contribute to a change in the field. We're going to be creating a really safe and welcoming learning environment for all comers. And if we're successful, I get very excited at the prospect of infusing diversity into the profession and hopefully making a significant and lasting impression on the field.